With news the border may remain closed until Christmas, people leaving Tasmania are unsure when they'll be able to return. If it's for the safety of all, then that's probably a good thing. It just, it'd suck if I have to quarantine through Christmas, but if that's how it is, then that's how it is. Not keen on having to pay the money to isolate in a hotel. I understand why you have to, but yeah, probably going to put off plans to come back for Christmas. It was a case of another day, another possible border reopening date. That date is constantly being reviewed. As the Premier said, it's uh, constantly being reviewed and as we get to that date, it might be earlier, it may be later. The government repeatedly forced to justify its December date. The timing of our borders um, was as a result of taking advice in terms of ensuring that we had the public health risk right, that we've got the capacity within our uh, state in terms of our health system. My advice to the Premier and uh, in relation to border restriction is based on public health and health advice. Um, that's what my advice is based on. They are the experts. Businesses want to know why December. Surprised because December is a fair way off um, and perhaps also wondering about some of the, the reasoning um, and the advice, wanting to get a bit more detail on that. A few weeks ago saying that, you know, we'll open up borders for South Australia and this will test the system to see how it goes. You know, very quickly that's turned around for whatever reason, I don't really know. And now it's on a three and a half months. It's, it's just it's a little bit nonsensical and, and really difficult for a business operator to plan and to keep my staff employed. Within Fortress Tasmania, social distancing rules remain in place, limiting some businesses. But it's the pubs and clubs that are bearing the brunt. Undivided indoor spaces are limited to 250 people. But it's the no standing to drink, no dancing and only one person per two metre square rules that are really limiting usable venue space and cutting revenue. The throwaway line of public health advice, well what is the advice on dancing? Why is dancing, why is standing up so unsafe? There, there is no information coming back to us as owners and operators uh, in the industry. And they're all about um, reducing the number of people who mix and encounter each other and also about how close they get when they do it. It's that mixing and proximity that drives outbreaks. A state seemingly cut off from danger but not free of risk. Edith Bevan, ABC News.